satellite drone. No, you take the ball. I want to shoot you. No, you take the ball. I want to shoot you. No, you take the ball. I want to shoot you. I don't want the ball. I don't want the ball. I don't want the ball. What's going on, guys? Your boy Optimus, and welcome to another video. I hope you like my little commentary there. That was me and Grimlock playing against each other, just having a little fun with the game. Anyway, guys, I want to talk to you about what I think about Black Ops 3 so far, how I'm enjoying it, what I actually fully believe the game is going to turn out to be and a little bit about gameplay mechanics and stuff like that. So let's start with, this game is like a 51 and 9 game, guys. I'm using the BMP, I believe that's what it's called. I am using quick draw, foregrip, and long barrel, not stock, long barrel. And it really makes this gun rip. This gun doesn't have a lot of range, but I do like using it. So even though it has a very close range, the gun does a lot of damage in that medium to close range. Like as you guys can see, I don't know why I'm taking them shots, but it's way too far away. And pistol I'm using is like the RK5 three round burst, pretty much the B23R. Guys, some of the things I'm gonna refer to in this game, like the HDXC or whatever the hell it's called in this game, it's an RC car, it's an RCXD, it'll always be an RCXD, and that's what it's gonna stay as. <laughs> So let's talk about movement mechanics and wall running in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Do I think it can be abused? Yes. Is it being abused yet? No. Um, not many people actually are hitting wall runs because it does make you somewhat vulnerable to somebody who may be sitting on the other side of it waiting to pick you up. But other than that guys, it's more like boost hovering, not boost jumping. You don't have a boost left, boost right, boost backwards. You have your slide forward and your boost hover up. And that's about it. So there isn't a lot of boosting around that you can do in order to give yourself an advantage or like advanced warfare just to irritate people. You can pretty much do the basic jump shot or what I call a jump hover shot, which does throw your shot off. But once you get it dialed in, you guys will start to learn that you can do like a jump and then hold the hover, which really throws people off because they expect you to come right back down after your jump shot. And it really messes with people, so yeah, the jump hover is a tactic that I use, and I can make a tutorial on how to jump hover and get your aim down with it. If you guys would like to see that, just let me know in the comment section below, and I will make a jump hover tutorial. Oh guys, I am recording through theater, and I apologize for recording through theater. It just makes it easier. I don't have a lot of disk space on my PC, so I'm able to record through theater and just put them up as I get awesome gameplay, which I have a lot of up. So overall, boost hovering is something I do do, and it is a lot of fun. So let's get into the specialist, because I'm using my hive right now, and I do want to talk about specialists in the game. Um, there are one thing, one or two things in specialist that I don't particularly like. I do not like rejack, and I do not like glitch. And the reason why I do not like Rejack is it is essentially final stand, but you do get to get up, you get to run away, or run right at the person who killed you and pick them up. And I think once you're dead, you should stay dead, even though it counts as a death and a kill. A death for them and a kill for you. They shouldn't be able to Rejack. I mean, it's kind of pointless. They should have to respawn out. If they do Rejack, they should have to Rejack, and when you do Rejack, it takes you right to wherever your team is spawning. I think would balance Rejack out. And glitch, I think, can only be allowed to do it under certain situations. But there's not other any other things in the uh, the specialist that I don't particularly like. I don't mind the war machine because, well, it's essentially a score streak. And I don't mind like the annihilator pistol or the sparrow bow. They're all very good and they're all pretty well balanced out, making the game pretty enjoyable to play. I prefer using the Hive because I am an objective player, so I can defend my objective with my Hive when I get it. As far as score streaks go, I run UAV, Lightning Strike, Hellstorm. I should run other things because the Hellstorm is a little broken right now. It doesn't really give you like Black Ops 2 one did. It doesn't lock on. I almost said Black Ops 3, and that's what we're playing. But it doesn't really lock on the way it should. Hopefully there will be a patch. Now, I want to get into guns. I am a sub player in this game. I've always been a sub player. Except for Advanced Warfare, I couldn't really get into using subs in that game. In Call of Duty Ghost, I switched back and forth a little bit. But, 
The subs in this game are pretty well balanced, with the VMP and the Vesper being insanely high on fire rate, the Weevil, Razorback, and the other subs are pretty medium on fire rate. The Razorback is a monster with very good range, able to pick people up from a good distance, especially if you add a long barrel quick drop foregrip onto that gun. You essentially have a high movement speed AR. I prefer the VMP because, it is, like I said, a very fast fire rate, very good for defending hills, very good for defending flags. If you're an objective player, the VMP is going to be the gun I highly suggest, but it's also very good at slaying. You can run around, get up close and personal with this gun, and you're going to destroy. A lot of the pros like using the Vesper because it's more like the Scorpion Evo, where this is more like a hybrid MSMC, PDW, and Evo mix with a good clip size, good recoil, and good fire. So in the ARs, there are a lot of very good ARs. All the ARs in this game are usable under any circumstances while playing the game, so you don't really have to worry about anything like that. So all the ARs are pretty usable, makes it pretty balanced out. All the subs are extremely usable as well. Now we're gonna get into the sniper rifle. All the sniper rifles are pretty good. Nice they play out nicely. Hey guys, I'm gonna cut this clip right here and we're gonna come right back. All right guys, did a little transitional cut there. And we are going to talk about the sniper rifles with the bolt action being the Locust, which I really like. Um, there's a semi-automatic one I can't think of the name of right now. I will look on my game for you guys actually. I'm gonna go into custom games, create a class. So, as far as sniper rifles go, you have the semi-automatic Draken, which is okay. It's a spammer, it's essentially the SVU, and it's okay, could be deadly. The Locust is your bolt action, it's more like the Ballista. It's got a pretty good scope time, I prefer using that with the thermal sight, it seems to be the best for snipers. You have the P06, which is an ungodly monster of a gun, but fires extremely slow. It is a charge burst sniper, so I don't really, I haven't used it, not really sure. And you have essentially the DSR for the game, it is the SVG-100. Shotguns, guys, I can't really tell you much about shotguns in the game so far. I mean, there are most definitely four shotguns, and I think I may have been killed by one of them, which was the Haymaker. And I think the Argus has killed me a few times as well, so... Shotguns are not heavily used in this game. It's not like the 870. They're not useless, but I haven't really seen many people using them, and I don't believe there is a slug gun in this game either. So, you gotta take it for what it is. So now we're gonna get into the LMGs. We have guns like the BRM, the Dingo, the Gorgon, and the 48 Dredge. So, one thing that you're gonna hate in this game, playing it, and maybe you're not playing it yet, and you're gonna be getting it, if they do not nerf the Gorgon, you guys are gonna find out how horrible it is to go up against the Gorgon. It is a two-shot kill at any range, and a very slow fire rate, but it will melt you across map. In the gun like the 48 Dredge, which is a bursted LMG, People are putting rapid fire on that and melting people at any range from across the map, running with it like it's a submachine gun. Overall, I do heavily believe that they need to nerf every LMG in the game just a little bit, and maybe not every, but specifically the Gorgon and the Dredge need to absolutely be nerfed. And as far as assault rifles go, I really do think that the, uh, the XR2 is going to end up getting a nerf, and probably the M8A7, which is also extremely powerful. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let this gameplay roll out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't have much more to say. I want to thank you guys for stopping in and watching the video. There's about a minute or so left, a little bit less than a minute or so left. But guys, let me know what you think of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Do you guys like it? Do you hate it? Is it better than Advanced War Warfare? And is it overall, is it better than... Is it the best COD you've played so far? To me, it is much better. It is equivalent to playing Black Ops 2, and I thoroughly enjoy it. But anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by and watching the video. And until the next video, peace.